Regeneration is a long-term process. However, the key and the most important thing is around having a vision. And the Council's vision is very clear and has been for quite some time. And that's been embedded within the Council's strategic growth plan. And again, uh, and what we are doing now is we are actively working through that high-level regeneration vision and putting in place a series of uh, projects in terms of short, medium and long term, which will arrive at that vision of creating a vibrant town uh, and a town that, that can prosper both economically, uh, socially and environmentally. We have spent over £300,000 worth uh, of in machinery to enhance the area, to upgrade uh, what we already we had. Uh, within the cleansing service, we have uh, increased our workforce. We have uh, upgraded our resources in relation to the, the grounds maintenance. And we've done our utmost to ensure that the, the community within Straban and the, the surrounding area feel part of it. It's very important for me uh, uh, as a streetscape manager to have the input from the community, to have the support from the community and to drive along with, with uh, the community in, uh, hand in hand. Council is involved in a series of regeneration projects uh, across a number of themes, uh, not just in terms of town centre regeneration, but also looking at themes such as leisure and sports development. So for example, we as Council have invested significantly in the Melvin Sports Complex in terms of uh, the work that has been recently undertaken there. From an environmental perspective, Riverine is a key project in terms of creating new district uh, green infrastructure to the benefit of Straban. We're also investing alongside uh, our colleagues in Donegal in relation to greenway and access development as well through the Northwest uh, Greenways and Direct Funded Project. Uh, and all those projects all very much come together in terms of what that wider vision is for Straban Town Centre uh, and Straban Town itself as being envisaged within the Council's Strategic Growth Plan. There are a few greenway projects that are live at the moment in Straban. Um, so we're standing here adjacent to the bypass on the recently delivered um, Straban Greenway project. Um, that was the first high quality greenway project which has been delivered for Straban. And essentially it runs from the uh, Derry Road, Straban Bypass Junction, um, um, and goes on a circuitous loop around the town, connecting into uh, strategic sites such as the Canal Basin. Um, and connecting the uh, key, uh, what we would term trip generators, such as schools and colleges and workplaces as well. Currently we're working on uh, a few different projects. Um, we're running the Flower of Sweet Straban Festival. Uh, through that we have been engaging with local businesses. Uh, we've been encouraging them to dress their windows uh, in a floral theme and that has really provided an attractive trail around the town centre and attracted people you know, out onto the streets and uh, increased footfall in the town centre. As part of that we've also distributed free flyers to businesses in the town centre. Um, again this has been really well received and it's really helped to increase the vibrancy and vitality of the town centre. Um, the pagoda as you can see here as well has been painted in a flower theme and that's really to sort of complement and, and bring all that together. Uh, other projects that we've been working on um, that have been really successful will work forward now towards our festive programme. We do a lot of um, festive promotional uh, and marketing. Uh, we do the tree at the Tinnies, so we brought the first ever Christmas tree to the Tinnies last year. We have the three pre-lit uh, walkthrough gift boxes, uh, which went down really, really well in the town centre last year, and we also uh, play some festive music. Um, out onto the streets and again you know that promotes the footfall, it improves the trading environment and encourages people into our local businesses. This current year we are currently working through uh, recovery revitalisation carrying out some streetscape improvements uh, in and around Castle Street and Abercorn Square and some environmental improvements as well to Lift the, uh, immediately lift the presentation of the town centre. We just recently there completed in the past um, two months uh, a um, shopfront enhancement scheme along Butcher Street and Church Street. Uh, we are now in the process of actively planning a paint scheme for Straban Town Centre, uh, and then that will then seamlessly take us into the delivery and implementation phase of the Straban Town Centre Public Realm Scheme, which is a 4.5 
million pounds investment from our colleagues at DFC and also from Council in relation to the upgrade of Derry Road, Railway Street, Abercorn Square, uh, Market Street locality in terms of the uh, improved presentation of a streetscape through new road surface, new footway surfaces, street furniture, street lighting to give the town centre a whole brand new feel uh, and to help the town centre prosper as much as possible. But that project will also, when complete, be a precursor and preamble to the other medium and longer term projects like for example the Stravan Canal Basin. The, the site itself uh, is uh, rich in its own history and it's a, it's a scheduled monument. Um, but obviously Council have got ambitious plans along with a range of other stakeholders to bring forward a transformative and significant urban regeneration project um, for the Canal Basin site as part of the City Deals um, proposals that Council is now actively taking forward with its partners. This greenway uh, which we're on today in Straban um, connects across the bridge here at Lifford to the Lifford Greenway which has recent, recently been delivered. Um, from here then we have future plans to extend the greenway um, from the Riverine site across the road here uh, right down to um, Straban Canal and to uh, Balamagori. Um, so there's already been a section of one kilometre which has been delivered down in Straban Canal and hopefully uh, when that's completed uh, there'll be up to seven kilometres of Greenway um, completed in this area. We're very, very fortunate to have this space in Straban, uh, the Alley Theatre. We have an auditorium, we have um, lots of uh, big international acts that do come to us year on year. Uh, we're very much looking forward to the exciting programme uh, program ahead. And in regards to visitors, we have had such lovely stories here over the summer in relation to uh, families maybe coming from as far away as Italy and America and they have really utilised our visitor information centre uh, to find out what's going on uh, in the surrounding areas but also enjoyed our space here too as well in relation to the exhibitions that we would be hosting and also Ambrose our, our great structure that has been here and a great focal point in Straban town as well. We're very, very fortunate here that we have alongside our visitor information centre and our box office and shows, we have a Studio One. It's an art collective where our local um, artists uh, come together collectively and they develop their own local produce and sell here within the alley and it has been, it's actually very, very spectacular and unique and we're very proud to be part of that process for our local businesses here in Straban that they can sell and showcase their excellent work. There's exciting times for Straban and the surrounding areas with the, the regeneration uh, plans over the next five to ten years as well. So the future is bright for, for Straban and it, it's very positive. And I think when everyone comes on board and realises and just see Take a step back, look at where, it, where we've come from, where we've come to, and where we're going to is, is really exciting times. Mm -hmm.